isang araw, isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 15, Solving Problems Involving Division of 3 to 4 Digit Numbers by 1 to 2 Digit Numbers Objective After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine problems and non-routine problems involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and different steps in problem-solving. To solve routine and non-routine problems involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers including money, follow the simple steps. Step 1. Understand. Know what is asked. These are the questions that we need to solve. Know the given facts. Are the important numbers to solve the problem? If any, determine the hidden question. Step 2 is plan. Determine the operation to be used. So we will identify which of the four basic operation we will use to solve the problem and write the number sentence. This is where we write the given facts and the operation together. And then step 3 is solve. Use the operation to solve. This is where we write our solution. And for step 4, check and look back, we write our answer in complete sentence. So let's try to solve this word problem. There are 4,000 apples to be placed equally in 25 baskets. How many apples we will be in each basket? To solve this, we must follow the steps in solving word problem. So number one is understand. So we need to identify what is asked in the problem. So we can write how many apples will be in each basket or you could write it as number of the apples to be placed in each basket. Next are to identify the given facts or the most important numbers to solve the problem. So we have 4,000 apples and we will equally put the apples in 25 baskets. Step 2, we have to determine the operation to be used. So the operation we will use is division. To write the number sentence, we need to equally put the 4,000 apples in 25 baskets. So we have 4,000 divided by 25, where N stands for the number of the apples to be placed in each basket. And then for step 3, solve. So we will just divide 4,000 divided by 25. Since the divisor 25 is in two-digit number, we will compare it to the first two digit of the dividend. So we have 40 divided by 25. So we all know that we can only make 125 to 40. So 1 times 25 is equals to 25. And then 40 minus 25. 0 minus 5 is cannot be. So we will borrow 1 from 4. Then 4 will become 3. And 0 will become 10. And then 10 minus 5 is equals to 5. And 3 minus 2 is 1. And then bring down 0. So 150 divided by 25. Looking to the product in the table of 25. 25 times 6 is equals to 150. So we will write the quotient 6 above. Then 6 times 25 is equals to 150. 150 minus 150 is 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 25 is cannot be. So we write 0 in the quotient. And then 0 times 25 is 0. And 0 minus 0 is 0. Step 4, check and look back. 
So we need to write our answer in complete sentence. So each basket will contain 160 apples. Let's have another example. After a good harvest, Mr. Celso set aside 6,336 pesos to be shared equally by his 12 workers. How much will each worker receive? To solve this, we must follow the steps in solving word problems. Step 1. Understand. We need to identify what is asked in the problem. So we can write how much will each worker receive as their salary or the salary of each workers. Next are the given facts or the important numbers to solve the problem. So we have 6,336 to be equally divided by 12 workers. Step 2 is plan. So we have to determine the operation to be use. So the operation we will use is division. So to write the number sentence, we need to equally divide the 6,336 pesos as the salary of the 12 workers. So we have 6,336 divided by 12 where N stands for the salary of each workers. Then step 3 is solve. We will divide 6,336 by 12. Since the divisor 12 is a two-digit number, we will compare it to the first two digits of the dividend. So we have 63 divided by 12. Looking to the product in a table of 12, the nearest product to 63 is 12 times 5, which is 60. So we will write 5 in the quotient, then 5 times 12 is equals to 60. 63 minus 60 is 3, then bring down 3. 33 divided by 12, so the nearest product in the table of 12 is 12 times 2, which is 24. So we will write 2 in the quotient, then 2 times 12 is equal to 24. 33 minus 24 is 3 minus 4. It is cannot be. So we will borrow 1 from 3, and 3 will become 2. Then 3 in the 1's place will become 13. So 13 minus 4 is 9, and then 2 minus 2 is 0. Break down 6. 96 divided by 12, the exact product in the table of 12 is 12 times 8, which is exactly 96. So we will write 8 in the quotient. Then 8 times 12 is 96. 96 minus 96 is equals to 0. Step 4 is check and look back. So we need to write our answer in complete sentence. So each worker will receive 528 pesos as their salary. Now it's your time to solve. In 5 minutes, solve the problem by applying the steps in solving word problem.
time's up. Let's check your work. Lisa bought an appliances for 6930 with zero interest payable installment for 6 months. How much should she pay monthly? To solve this, we must follow the steps in solving word problems. Step 1 is understand. So we need to identify what is asked in the problem. So we can write Lisa's monthly payment for the appliances. Next are the given facts or the important numbers to solve the problem. So we have 6,930 as the cost of the appliances and 6 months as payable months for the installment. Then step 2 is plan. So we have to determine the operation to be used and that is division. And then we will now write the number sentence. So we have 6,930 divided by 6 is equals to N, where N stands for Lisa's monthly payment for the appliances. Step 3 is solve. Since the divisor is a one-digit number, we will compare it to the first digit of the dividend. So we have 6 divided by 6 is equals to 1. 1 times 6 is equals to 6, and 6 minus 6 is 0. Then bring down 9. 9 divided by 6. Looking in the table of 6, the nearest product is 6 times 1, which is 6. So we will write 1 to the quotient. Then 1 times 6 is equals to 6. 9 minus 6 is equals to 3. Bring down 3. 33 divided by 6. Looking to the table of 6, the nearest product is 6 times 5, which is 30. So we will write 5 to the quotient, then 5 times 6 is equals to 30. 33 minus 30 is equals to 3, then bring down 0. 30 divided by 6, so looking to the product in the table of 6, 6 times 5 is equals to 30 is the exact product. So we will write 5 to the quotient, then 5 times 6 is equals to 30. 30 minus 30 is equals to 0. Step 4 is check and look back. So we need to write our answer in complete sentence. So Lisa's monthly payment for the appliances is 1,155 pesos. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to like, share, and enroll to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap ng math, problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye and have a great day!